Office in this episode, I'm going to uh, discuss viruses and uh, on Linux. Now, uh, I did some interesting research tonight, and I have found that on the Wikipedia, the listing for uh, Windows viruses is really, really large. And uh, through my research on the internet, it has been determined that there are over a million viruses and anti-malware out there on Windows-based systems. I mean, uh, you can see here in my web browser that uh, there are a number of them. I opened these up in different pages so that just so that you can get a scope of how many of these there really are. They're uh, listed uh, numerically, alphabetically, and I mean there are just so many viruses. And that was one of the main reasons why I switched over to Linux was because I got tired of my machines uh, getting infected. You know, it doesn't matter how good your antivirus system is on uh, Windows, they still manage to get through either through Java um, or uh, other ways. It's just absolutely malicious the way these uh, virus makers are um, infiltrating our systems. Another interesting thing that I found was when I looked at the number of viruses for Linux, it is only <laughs> on <laughs> about one-fifth of the page. This is their list of Trojans right here. <laughs> this is the short list of viruses here, <laughs> and a short list of worms uh, <laughs> here. So, not very many uh, viruses, but that doesn't mean that you're 100% safe by using Linux. You still want to use a antivirus scanner. This is especially important if, you're, if you receive an email from one of your friends who uses Windows that could be infected with a virus, and you want to forward this on to your friends, you want to make sure to scan it and make sure that it is safe. Now, there's a number of Linux uh, antivirus scanners out there that are free, but um, I found a really good Windows uh, antivirus scanner that, um, at least my brother swears by it, and he is uh, Cisco certified, and he uh, uh, works in IT and everything, and uh, I've tried it out myself, and it's really neat. It is called Bitdefender. Now, Bitdefender uh, has a antivirus scanner for Unix-like operating systems. This will run on Linux and BSD. And the really cool thing about this is you can get this protection for free. As long as you're using this for personal use and not in a business environment, you can actually visit uh, Bitdefender's website and you can request a free license for personal use. And uh, let me go ahead and show you this application. It's pretty nice, actually. I, I use this myself, and I uh, find that um, this does a really nice job. Now, unlike uh, Windows antivirus scanners, it's not necessary to leave uh, a process running in the background in Linux. Uh, basically, uh, I run a scan maybe once every two weeks, and it never finds anything so and all I have to do is just tell the scanner which folders I want it to go ahead and search if I wanted to search my main file system I have to use this as root otherwise I just I just go in and scan my home folders and uh, it never finds anything all right, well, that's all I have for now. Uh, I'll have all this information in the show notes below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.